G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 15 of our West Ham United career mode here on Dylan on the Ball. Today we are taking on Athletic Bilbao in the Europa League, hoping to secure top spot and our way through to the knockout stages of the uh, of the Europa League. Before we get into it, I'll just remind you guys to please leave us a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here, comment what you think of the video, all that sort of good stuff. I'll be leaving a prompt in the comments down below for you guys to have your input in the series basically. So if you want to have a say on how we go, where we sort of take the series, where we take the squad, all that sort of stuff, have a look in the comments. There'll be a comment by myself waiting for, for your input basically. Before we get through to today's match, we've got three matches to catch you up on. We've had two in the Premier League, one in the Europa League. Let's get through to our first one, which was away at Bodo Glimt. Getting the scoring underway, at home, not away at all. It was Jared Bowen on the end of a nice cross from Emerson. He was played through here, overlapping or sort of inverted overlapping. I don't know. It was a good cross from Emerson after he was played through by Norlung. Finished not convincing, but it does the job. 1-0. Ivan Tony then gets on the end of a Jared Bowen through ball. Jared Bowen having a very good season this year. He's got the six assists and three goals in 11 matches, which is... You know, not a, not you know the most outstanding, but I think it's a lot better than his last season's output anyway. That was 2-0, thanks to Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony then makes it 3-0, grabbing his second of the game. A good, solid header from this corner, taken by none other than Jared Bowen. So, two goals for Ivan Tony, a goal and two assists for Jared Bowen. A 3-0 win, comfortably. I don't know what the bloke on the line's doing, standing there like a stun mullet. It's three points, though. Next up, we went down to Carrow Road, where getting this down to Carrow Road? Anyway, we went to Carrow Road. I can't remember, honestly, England, not where I'm from. Skamaka gets the scoring underway here. Good through ball by Corne. Dinked little finish, which is becoming a bit of a trademark of this series. Uh, mo mostly this season, I'm not sure what the go is there. Then, unfortunately, they drew one back. They had a man sent off, allegedly. Done, didn't seem like it, as Midlot Rashiga sends Ariola the wrong way from the penalty spot, pops it in the bottom corner for one all. Then, very fortuitously, we take the lead again. Straight from the penalty spot. We traded penalties here. It was Skamaka grabbing his second of the game. Absolutely blasting that one down the middle. Angus Gunn jumping out of the way of that one. Unfortunately, could not hold on to the three points. The marking here, not great from Simakan slash Sufal, I guess. Between the two of them, they don't really do a good job of staying anywhere near Rashika, who takes one touch and then fires it near post. Ariola just can't get there. It's a two-all draw. Then, most recently, we hosted Bournemouth in the Premier League, and it was Jared Bowen again with the first goal here, just put through on goal. No one within an acre of him when he sets off. Tyrant Mitchell doing a good job of trying to get there. Just can't quite. Jared Bowen finishes confidently beyond the keeper for 1-0. We then take a 2-0 a two -nil rather lead. That combination again of Bowen to Tony. Simple as you like. I mean, it's basically the same goal that he scored in that first game against Glimt. Or Bodo? Do you call them Glimt or Bodo? Or Bodo Glimt? Like, do you have to say both? I don't know. It's a 2-0 win. We get the three points. Four points out of six for the two games in the Premier League. So we'll take that, I guess. So those four points have got us sitting pretty in second place. We are three points clear of a bit of a log jam in third through sixth between Liverpool, Arsenal, Leicester and United. Chelsea, four points ahead of us. They look like they're going to be the best side. I'm not... How poorly is it? City? City are making a bit of a comeback. They were down in 13th not too long ago, so they're up to ninth. So I'm, I'm sure by the end of the season they'll be somewhere up there because uh, that's just what they do. Very happily just sitting in the top four. I don't really care about a title tilt. I mean, it'd be lovely, I suppose. But really, the as for the way that progression works, I suppose, the next step that we are really aiming for is that Champions League spot. Because last year we finished fifth. We won the Carabao and the Conference League. We're just hoping to, to make it to the Champions League this time, whether it's through the league or whether it's through winning the Europa League. We'll, uh, we'll see. That then brings us around to today's fixture against Athletic Bilbao. We are sitting on top of the table. We have got 12 points out of 12. We're nine points clear of Glimped down in fourth, so we are technically through. We are through, absolutely. The only thing we're looking to do is secure top spot. If we were to lose today, 
It makes us fairly equal with Athletic Club, but we did beat them, I think it was 4-1. Let's just check on the right-hand side here. I think it was 4-1. Yeah, we beat them 4-1 in the first leg. That was one we simulated or, or did the highlights for anyway. So hoping for a bit of a repeat of that one today, because this is, uh, is the biggest test of our group stage. Hoping to come away with the big three points today, secure top spot. Anyway, that's enough of a bit of a wrap up of what's happened since you were last here. Let's get through these lineups where we're hoping for another strong performance here. So our West Ham United lineup, we have got Ariola in goals, a back line of Johnson, Simican, Agard and Backer. Holding midfield will be between Douglas Lewis and Declan Rice. Attacking midfield between Noah Lung, Paqueta as the number 10 and Jared Bowen on the right with Skamaka up top. Very strong lineup, not really changing too much, but I mean, we've got, following this, I think we've got Tottenham in like two or three days, followed by Arsenal two or three days after that. So uh, hoping to hoping to basically win this one fairly easily so that we can take off some of the more important players like Skamaka, Paqueta, Rice, you know, Agard, the, I don't know. Just hoping to keep legs fresh and hopefully, you know, get at least, I mean, two points out of that of those two games. Is that realistic? Is that a realistic game? I mean, if we're second in the league currently, maybe getting at least one win out of those two is accurate. I don't know. As for Athletic Club, it is Unai Simon in goals, a backline of Aguilar, someone named Reed, which I don't know who, which Reed it is, who Reed is, but I'm going to say it's Winston Reed and he's coming up against his former club, even though he's about 50. Havorka, who I had no idea who that is, Espino at left back. Midfield pairing of Jordan and Arnold, Silas is the right wing, Trossard number 10, Munayin on the left, and Ruta up front. Ruta, Ruta, I don't know. Uh, they've definitely gone away from their Basque only transfer um, rule, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Their transfer uh, uh, way that they do transfers. I don't know. What am I trying to say? But with players like Sila Silas, Trossard, Arnold, I don't think, I think Rutter's, Rutter is, Rutter, Rutter is German. Um, I don't think any of them really have any Basque in them. But at the end of the day, it's FIFA, uh, which I don't think really cares about that. Looking outside and how good we are getting with players like, you know, an 87, 286s, a couple of 83s. I think we're looking quite good for the Europa League. I mean, I mean, we'll wait and see who comes down from the Champions League into the knockout stages, but we're looking pretty fantastic. Hoping today for a good performance. I think we're the better side because, I mean, in all honesty, I don't know half the team. So really, uh, we should be winning it comfortably because we've, we've done it before. I mean, they're probably a lesser side than Villarreal and we beat Villarreal 11-0. So, you know, this should, should be a good game. Let's get to it. So here we are then, an absolutely beautiful site. Estadio San Mames? Mames? Estadio San Mames. I don't know how to say it. It looks gorgeous though. They've done a great job. I mean, the great the stadium looks fantastic. The nice red and white filled ground. Before we get into it, guys, I'll remind you just quickly again to please leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Comment what you think of the video. All that sort of good stuff. Also down in the description below are the social medias. Make sure to... Follow me there if you want to keep up with everything Dylan on the ball. Let's get into it. I'm very keen for this one. Not too sure what to expect from them, but hopefully just a good game, really. Alrighty, underway. I've also been sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice um, or in my lack of energy or something like that, but I have been sick. I'm, uh, you know, just trying to just power through. Here is Ben Johnson early, finding Skamaka with a good effort, or oh, good save. I basically saw the room we were in and was like, he's got good shot power, we'll see how we go. It's so now Declan Rice with the corner, swing it in towards no one. Why did it not let me just choose Aga then? Noah Lang controls that one on the chest, can he find... No, that was a horrible cross. I don't know what happened there. He's trying to find Skamaka with it, but he, I don't know, scuffed it? I don't, what, what do you even say about that? Here's Silas, Silas, tackled well. I think it was Declan Rice getting back there, which is just, he's just an outstanding player, isn't he? He's up to 87 overall, yet to really get any serious transfer offers or anything. I don't think, actually, I think we've only had one from him in the, you know, three transfer windows, which is just bizarre. Here's Skamaka, tackled. That was oh, fortuitous the way it fell to us there. Would have been a bit... I don't know, it would have felt cheap or something. It's definitely, definitely is the German Rutter. That's Rutter. Ru I don't know how to say it, all right? I'll just Rutter, because I'm Australian and it looks like Rutter. There's no umlaut, it's just Rutter. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Cannot remember. 
Oh, that's a bad loss there. Oh, no, Lung. Oh, doesn't quite reach Paqueta. I mean, it was. I, I mean, it was bold trying the trying the big ball over the top there. Didn't quite get the angle right. And now Bilbao coming out with it. I don't like that it says Athletic Club and it doesn't say the word Bilbao because that's all I want to say is Bilbao. I don't want to say Athletic Club because that sounds stupid. That's surely a foul. Thank you, referee. I was very taken back by that. Noah Lung has impressed early in his West Ham career. He's up to 81 overall, equal with uh, Cornet, who is his, you know, positional rival. Oh, Paqueta. Oh, it didn't let me choose Paqueta early enough there that I could actually, like, manipulate his position at all. Otherwise, I would have moved him more into the space that he was looking at. Of course, Mitchell Backer wins that for us. God, he's a superstar. I think Mitchell Backer has got to be the, like, just such like a... I was going to say the, but it's, that's very sensationalized, isn't it? Um, I was going to say, like, just such like a, a hidden gem. Oh, oh, Jared Bowen. Oh, you absolute stud. I was just saying before the game that he has come on leaps and bounds this season, performing way above last season's levels. And then he, he bangs this one out. I was busy talking about Mitchell Backer, not thinking about the game at all. He just cuts in from the right-hand side, finds a bit of room with the left foot, finds the far corner. Unai Simon cannot get there. Unai Simon, another you know, former hero of the, of the channel. Doesn't really have that much curl on it, but it's just too good to be for the keeper to get there, rather. And it's 1-0 West Ham. What a start. Maybe I should sensationalise things. Man, what a start. That was... I mean, we're all over them, really. I mean, they've had a couple of moments where they've looked like getting forward. Haven't really created a chance that I can remember, anyway. Um, and then we pull out an absolute stunner to, to take the lead there. I wish I was you know, saying something better at the time, or, or like reacted better, because would, man, that would, the TikTok would go wild with that one, wow. Or like that one Instagram reel I have that's cracked 11,000, <laughs> absolutely crazy. Like my best, <laughs> best one by like 8,000 or something. Anyway, here is Paqueta just outside the box, oh, trying to cut it onto the left again, similar to the space Bowen was looking at when he absolutely rifled in that opener. Oh, now Douglas the Wheeze. Oh, man. Looking to Douglas the Squeeze through there. Doesn't quite get to it. But do we win the ball back? We almost do. Jeebus. Win the bloody tackle, Noah. Win the ball. Win the ball, Noah. Win the ball. Far out. Oh. No. What the heck? How did we not end up winning the ball there? And now we've got people out of position, and they're going to run at us. And we're going to foul, apparently. Oh, Ben Johnson, you legend. Johnson has been fantastic. I'm, the more that I, I think about... Oh, whoops. Uh, the more that I think about how uh, Sufal is leaving, the more that I think that we should just get someone, you know, 76, 78... Oh, Skamaka! Oh, good save, Keeper. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think we should just get someone 76, 77, 78, that sort of range. And just... Declan? Um, just let Ben Johnson be number one. You know, why not? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Corner for Declan Rice. Swung in towards Skamaka. Big win. Oh, save again. Unai Simon is earning his keep today. That's, I think that's three, maybe four saves he's, he's had now. I mean, he's keeping them in it. Great win by Skamaka. Heads it down nice and hard, but not enough to the side of the keeper to beat him. Another corner for Declan Rice to swing in. Again towards the back post this time. No one wins it. <laughs> Which is good. Uh, Simmer can, can recycle though. He finds Declan Rice at the far post. Ah, oh, god dang it. That was a horrid attempt. And now Bilbao walk away with it. 1-0, probably not a fair assessment of this half, I've got to be honest. I mean, I don't like to be too, you know, gloaty or, or you know, talk, or talk myself up too much. But, I mean, we, we've been the better side easily. Um, and, you know... With some of these chances, should have should have should have put one away at least. Here's Skamaka, edge of the box, looks for Lang. Nothing really on. Oh no! And we look back for someone who's not open at all, and that's half time. Nothing was really. Oh man, that's frustrating. Anyway, 
<laughs> anyway, it's half time. It's 1 0 to West Ham. We are performing very, very well. Hope to make sure of it in the second half, or otherwise we'll uh, maybe be made to pay. We'll see. Here we go. Second half underway. As I said, just hoping to make sure of the three points, make sure of the result, so that we can try and rest some players for the two tough matches we got coming up. No Lang. Oh, he does find Skamaka. Oh, he was reaching for it, couldn't quite sort of take it out of his feet enough to have an attempt out of it. Now Bill Bilbao looking to mount a counter-attack, but that man again, Mitchell Backer, too good. Which is not something I think you thought you would hear when you clicked on a West Ham United video. Here's Noel Lang outside the box. Curl? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You beautiful man, Noel Lang. He's done basically a mirror image of what Jared Bowen did at the other end in the first half. He cuts in off the left-hand side. A couple of good runs from Paqueta and Skamaka take the defenders a bit away. Curling it. I mean, it's not too much in the corner, but it's high enough. It's dipping. Uno Simon can't get there, and that is 2-0. Two absolute stunners from outside the box. Where has this come from? We haven't really scored too many outside of the box goals with West Ham. I mean, I've got a, I've got a season with, <laughs> with Monaco out at the, I'm not you know, recording, um, where I signed, oh, this, that might have to wait, here's Paqueta chipping, over the bar, dang it, um, yeah, uh, uh, with Monaco, I've got Dominic Shobosly, Shobos, oh, can't say it, um, and he just, every other game, every other game, it's an absolute stunner, um, even Minamino, who's been dropped before Shobosly is absolutely banging him in, trying to, I don't know, earn his place in the side, I'll shut up about that season though, as we lose the ball here, they look to counter as we beat up one of their players to try and slow down the counter. Doesn't quite work yet as they are still on the ball. Munayin finds Espin something? Espino? And then the header easily straight at Areola, who will hardly have had easier days under under Alguacil anyway. Maybe maybe back when he was at PSG he had an easier easier day or two? I don't know. Might have needed to bring a book. Here's Paqueta in a bit of room. He'll have a go as well. Why not? <laughs> this one save. It wasn't a it wasn't a great effort. I'll I'll admit that wasn't brilliant. Oh, playing with fire there. Nearly intercepted. Declan Rice has had a good game, I think. I like he's had a foot in every other move it seems. Oh god. Oh, good block there. And one well by Paqueta. Uh yeah, Declan Rice has seemed to have his foot in every other move that Bill Bauer have tried to start. A lot of the time he hasn't won the ball cleanly though. Clean through though here is Skamaka. Oh, looked good. Whip it across there for Bowen. Couldn't quite get him through. But we win the ball back straight away. Skamaka again looks for Bowen and can't. Skamaka not having a fantastic game. Also not having a fantastic season based off last season's standards. I mean, he does have like seven goals in... 10 appearances or something stupid like that. So he is, <laughs> by, you know, uh, conventional standards. He's having a great season. His Paqueta in a good space, but can't quite fi like find anything really. Bowen gives it back. Paqueta now outside the box, why not? Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Tried to just bend it around, bend it around. Couldn't quite get it to come at far back enough. And goal kick for Bilbao. Alrighty, we have queued up the subs. Lee Haji, Palmer, and Knezovic all prepping to come on. We are... I've just changed it so that... Oh, another go on here. Paqueta again? Okay, that one was less good. I should stop just trying those. Um, you'll see here, Paqueta, that's his last action as he comes off for Palmer. Noah Lang is off for Lee Haji. And Declan Rice also coming off to, to save his legs as well. So, Knezovic, Palmer, and Lee Haji on with about 15 minutes to spare, why not? When you're in this good of a position, having played this comfortably really, why not? Has it screwed anything up because I changed which sub I wanted to do? Doesn't look like it, which is amazing. Although they are looking good here with an attack. Arnold on the ball, finding Trossard who looks like he's gone out to the left. Now Cole Palmer on the ball, which is never what you want to hear. Here's Jared Bowen now. Palmer finding Bowen in a good wide position. Bowen crossing back in. No. Too close to the keeper. I think Skamaka maybe made his 
made his run too early and maybe sold it a little bit. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Here's Palmer finding Skamaka though. Skamaka in the box. Oh, tried to cut back inside. I didn't think the angle... Whoops. Didn't think the angle was on there for Skamaka with the left foot. So I tried to cut back in. Didn't work out. But I mean, we're 80 minutes in now. This one is flying by us with only the two goals scored, which is very rare for a Dylan on the ball video. Oh, that's... Oh, oh I didn't quite keep it in. That was poor. Um... <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's had all the bits that you'd expect from a Dylan on the ball video. We just haven't actually put the chances away, I guess. I've definitely taken, I feel like in the second half, taken the foot off the pedal. The second goal definitely helped because uh, we just, we started just taking long shots, really, uh, which you, I'm not sure if you noticed that. Here's Lee Haji. Good run, taking it central. It is Winston Reid. Am I losing my mind? All right, I was joking before when I thought it was Winston Reid. It legitimately is him. He's come over from, can't remember what MLS club he's at, but he's a, he's over in the MLS. He's 38 years old, probably. A former West Ham man. We're versing. Weird, weird buy. Um, I'll be honest, not one you'd expect Bill Bow to make, but sure, whatever you need, feel the need, sure. Do, do what you gotta do, I guess. So the three points we're about to confirm in the next four minutes. Oh, Lee Haji. No, okay, well, he shouldn't shoot from long distances, so I'm now finding out. The three points will secure his top spot. Here goes Winston Reed. It's bizarre. Like, why? And who's coming on for him? Okay, uh, you know, someone who's probably not too much better overall. The three points does secure his top spot, secures it our way through the uh, to the knockouts. So, cannot complain one bit. Happy as Larry to come over the three points. Oh, Cole Palm. Oh, well... Ball doesn't quite get to him. Oh, Jeebus, they nearly played their way into danger there. About to be full time. Although they might mount one more counter attack. Simakan doesn't quite win that one. A guard will, though. And that should be t that. Should be that. There it is, full time. 2 0 West Ham. Nice and easy. A walk around the park, really. We didn't have too much to defend. I think Ariola made that one save that he didn't have to move for, so. Happy as Larry, really, can't complain. Quickly recapping the goals, it was Jared Bowen cutting in from the right hand side, finding himself a bit of room about 25 yards out, curling it far, side netting, Unai Simon cannot reach it, too much power, too well placed, and that beautiful Jared Bowen strike put us up 1-0. Then just after half time, the man on the other wing, Noah Lang, tried to copy it, did a very good job, puts it nice and high over the keeper, out of reach, not quite in the corner, but it does just barely dip under the crossbar, as you see from this angle. Just dips under the crossbar, gives us a 2 0 lead, and we take all three points away from Bill Bauer. So, there you see confirmation of the 2 0 win there over Bill Bauer in the Europa League. That secured us a top spot in the group stage. We've now got an like absolutely crazy December ahead of us. We've got, before that, we've got Tottenham away in two days time. Two days later, we've got Arsenal, followed by nine matches in December. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine matches in December. Insanity. What we'll come back for though, will be the London Derby here against Fulham on the 16th, as you see there. So we've got six games before then. We've got Tottenham, Arsenal, Everton, Cluj, and Nottingham Forest and Burnley before then, before we look to go into January and the transfer window where we may need to bolster the squad to maybe secure a, a Champions League squ uh, spot, I guess. Or we go even further, go all out for it and try and win a league. I don't know. Maybe we, I don't know, who would you even replace? Like replace Corne with Sane? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm obviously being silly, but you know, Maybe that's what we're going to do. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that'll wrap this one up today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, if you're enjoying the series. Comment down below what you think of the video. A a any, you know, anything more you want to see, any improvements to the series you'd, you'd like me to try and work around, that sort of stuff. Also down in the description, all the social medias, they are down there. The Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Why not follow us there too? And until next time, when we go again with the worst fixture congestion in the world, goodness me, peace.